looking back, I see WrestleMania 18, and it was The Rock versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan. WrestleMania 19, Hulk Hogan versus Vince McMahon. And, for the first time ever, Brock Lesnar versus Kurt Angle. WrestleMania 20, Brock Lesnar versus Bill Goldberg with Stone Cold Steve Austin as a special guest referee. WrestleMania 21, there was Kurt Angle versus Shawn Michaels. WrestleMania 22, uh, there was both Vince McMahon versus Shawn Michaels and Edge versus Mick Foley in a hardcore match. WrestleMania 23, it was Batista versus The Undertaker. WrestleMania 24 was A, it was the sad retirement match when it was Shawn Michaels taking on Ric Flair. If Ric Flair lost, he must retire. WrestleMania 25, it was Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. WrestleMania 26, we saw Bret Hart versus Vince McMahon. There's always that one match that WrestleMania is known for that's really going to want to draw viewers alike in what can they do for this year's WrestleMania. More on that in a minute. First of all, welcome to John's Wrestling Views. I am John. Really excited for uh, to be able to put this episode on. So, once again, thanks for tuning in. For those of you who saw my... Wrestling Views last week, it was more or less disappointing, you know, I was talking about how TNA and WWE are both kind of in disappointment levels right now, um, with Fortune being revealed as who they are, who are going to take out Immortal, um, and then just how the road to WrestleMania is getting, you know, it's here, and we're getting closer and closer to WrestleMania, and it was looking like it was going to be the lamest WrestleMania yet, or at least in quite some time, but man... Thank you. Thank you, professional wrestling. Thank you, WWE. This week was a huge turnaround. Um, you know, TNA, we saw, you know, they had a pay-per-view. Um, it was a uh, Against All Odds pay-per-view. And, you know, yeah, Scott Steiner's back. And then on Thursday, we see the return of Hernandez as he attacks Matt Morgan and Mr. Anderson after uh, in the end of their world title match. And then we see... Mr. Anderson going on to defend the world title against Jeff Hardy in a ladder match at Against All Odds. You know, it, TNA's starting to pick up. Who cares? WWE blew them out of the water this week. Um, SmackDown this last Friday. Edge was defending the world title against Dolph Ziggler. Vicky Guerrero is a special guest referee. And they're thinking, oh great. You know, Vicky Guerrero, her, she's dating Dolph. She doesn't like Edge. How's this going to be any good? What's going to happen? How could Edge return or retain his title? Um, and so, yeah, and then, of course, that spear is banned. That's going to make things even worse. So how about Vicky Guerrero attempts for a spear on Edge? Edge just stands there throughout the whole thing as Vicky Guerrero kind of tackled herself in the spear. Go see outside with a apparently a hurt ankle. Calls a trainer out to look at her. Vicky Guerrero's back's turned. Edge spear on Dolph Ziggler, and then Vicky Guerrero back her back's not turned anymore. Edge well aware of this, but she's on the outside. She can't do anything. Another spear to Dolph Ziggler. That illegal move, according to Vicky Guerrero. But Vicky Guerrero's a referee. Who's gonna? Who's gonna? Uh, Make the count. Who's going to serve as a referee while Edge has this pinfall? Well, you know, as a Packers fan, it was already great enough seeing John Cena lead the Milwaukee crowd in a Go Pack Go chant last the Monday prior to this on Raw. But what was even better, something that will draw the media in everywhere. How about Clay Matthews from the... Uh, Green Bay Packers coming out with the referee shirt and his replica world title on his shoulder. Coming in, counting a three count for Edge. Edge retains. And, uh, you know, it's so great. If you're a Packers fan and a wrestling fan, you had to have loved this last week on Raw. Not even just or in wrestling, uh, but look at the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers led his team to victory. And as an award, you know, you get the Super Bowl ring. 
But Aaron Rodgers got a world title belt too. So then you bring a bunch of the Packers to uh, SmackDown on Friday, and all of them are holding replica world title belts. And it's fun to watch. Um, and luckily for me, I am a Packers fan, so it worked out. Friday was good. Monday. Who is going to be the host of WrestleMania is a question everybody's been asking. You know, it was kind of disappointing King's mother died this last weekend. King was not able to be on the show. Um, so we saw Josh Matthews commentating with Michael Cole. Uh, but The Miz, outstanding match against Daniel Bryan. Best match I've seen in a long time, at least for a Monday Night Raw match or televised matches, you know. It's right up there with some of those great pay-per-view matches. You know, Daniel Bryan and The Miz, both great superstars, could put on a great match. Uh, I think back to their match at Night of Champions last year. I easily thought that was the best match of the night. But this, I can safely say, was the best match the two have ever had against each other, which in the end did see The Miz capitalizing. Miz did win. Um, but yeah, great matches. He's now got that momentum going into Sunday where he defends his title against Jerry the King Lawler. You know, this Sunday is Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. We got uh, our competitors for the Elimination Chambers all in ma matches. Oh, he's the Raw competitors. Um, yeah, you know, Elimination Chamber pay-per-view implications throughout the whole show. John Morrison, we're starting to see more of a rise with him. Looks like maybe some sort of rivalry with CM Punk after he sprayed him in the eyes last week on Raw. Who cares? Well, any wrestling fan would, but the one thing that we were all wondering is who was going to be the host of WrestleMania. As Vince McMahon promised last week, he was going to have it revealed to us last for the following week's episode of Raw. The lights go out. The lightning bolts start on the screen. Now, I, I have to give a shout-out here. Um, right after the Randy Orton-Sheamus match, which was the main event match, so to speak, I get a text message from Trent Guerin saying, My guess is it's The Rock who's going to host WrestleMania. Well, there was an electrifying entrance Monday night. And then you hear the patent, If you smell what The Rock is cooking... As The Rock's, it's a, it's a new version, but as music plays, The Rock is hosting WrestleMania this year. And, you know, it's great to see The Rock. He's actually there in, the sh in person, in the arena. And then he says, you know, that it wasn't the money that brought him back. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't to promote a new movie. It was the people. The people brought The Rock back. And The Rock's promise that he was not going to go away this time. Is The Rock back for good? Well, I guess it's still to be seen, but that's what it sounds like right now, and I'm not going to argue, but you know, you have The Rock hosting WrestleMania? What's one thing better than that? I listed a bunch of matches at the beginning of this episode, John's Wrestling Views. What's going to put WrestleMania 27 on the map? Well, The Rock made a challenge, so to speak, or what it sounds like anyway. How about The Rock versus John Cena? You know, it's a match everybody's been dying to see, you know, the Rock kind of left the WWE picture, and then John Cena kind of took over. John Cena, like I've said before, is today's version of how The Rock was in the Attitude Era. Wow, yeah, you want to talk about a match that's going to draw viewers into WrestleMania more than anything else? You got that right there. Um, WWE just continuing to pick up the Elimination Pay-Per-Views, this uh, or Elimination Chamber Pay-Per-Views this Sunday. This, smack, this Friday is the 600th episode of SmackDown. Uh, Vicky Guerrero says that Edge has lost the world title because of using that spear. So apparently Dolph Ziggler is going to be getting the title. And apparently Edge was the one who attacked Teddy Long, according to Vicky Guerrero. So he's going to get fired. What's going on there? But we have two Elimination Chamber matches this Sunday. So on Friday, we're going to have all 12 of those competitors in a 12-man tag. Edge, Randy Orton, John Cena, um... John Morrison, R-Truth, and Rey Mysterio taking on Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre, Wade Barrett, Kane, King Sheamus, and CM Punk. It's going to be great. Um, expect chaos to break out throughout that match, though. It's just because they're, they're partners in your match. It's every man for themselves on Sunday. 
So it's it's gonna be good, um, and it's gonna be wild. As far as Sunday's concerned, um, not sure. I'm thinking Edge will win SmackDown's Elimination Chamber match. It just makes most sense to have Edge and Del Rio at WrestleMania. Maybe Kofi Kingston might still have a shot in being in the match. I don't know. Maybe we'll see the return of Christian somehow peek its way through this rivalry as WrestleMania is getting closer. But I think Edge makes the most sense of, of those six to be facing uh, Del Rio at WrestleMania. Well, if it's going to be The Rock versus John Cena at WrestleMania, I don't really think we'll see John Cena win the Elimination Chamber match, especially because it's not for the world title. I'm also thinking we're going to see Randy Orton take on CM Punk at WrestleMania now. So, there's three of the competitors right there. Um, there's still talk, and I'm still hoping for a return of Triple H. Um, he's kind of taken on a uh, promotion in the company. He's more of an executive role now, but he can't let his fans down. Not this time of year. we got to see his return. Potentially, it'll be against Sheamus, you know, as Sheamus was the guy who supposedly took him out, all, who injured him for all this time. Um... Which leaves Morrison in truth. John Morrison's on a roll of his life right now. I can really see that for the WWE Championship come WrestleMania, it's going to be The Miz defending against John Morrison. That's my thoughts right now. Of course, King's mother just passed away. Maybe they want to support him. Maybe, you know, Rey Mysterio won the world title at WrestleMania 22 because, and a lot of people will argue that was only because Eddie Guerrero just died recently before that. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll see the King win the title on Sunday, but I'm still leaning more towards now, I guess, The Miz and Morrison, and they've proved before they can have an outstanding match, but, you know, that's Sunday. Monday, we are promised, it was revealed to us through the same commercial, it will be the return of The Undertaker. One would assume that he's going to have some sort of rivalry with Wade Barrett. You know, Big Show's kind of been taken on Jackson. I'm hoping that the two of them face at, uh, the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. I think that would actually be a great match for two big men. Um, but this Monday is the return of The Undertaker, as a promo did actually show The Undertaker's face. Um, always enough to know that it's him. You know, there's still the potential of Sting signing with the company, at least for WrestleMania. Um, and of course for the Hall of Fame ceremony, these weeks are picking up and it's getting better and better. Honestly, I'm really happy with this. Um, but you know, we gotta keep tuning in. And like I said before, if you can't tune in to Monday or Friday or, Friday, or even Thursday with TNA, you can always tune in to here. And I'll be here giving you the latest scoop and reviews. But that's a wrap for this one. Once again, I'm John. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.